हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अ केस ऑफ मॉकिंग इन कैट्रैक्ट एंड I am calling it a routine case, and you will be surprised why I am calling it a routine case. It's a complex case, definitely. But when you do multiple such cases, and you have a established thought process to take care of all the surprises that we may encounter in a complex case, it becomes a routine over a period of time. So, of course, you have to be on your toes to take care of such complex cases. so there goes the incision it's a 2.8 mm incision it's better to hold the globe but here the patient is moving the eye away from the incision so i use that movement of the patient's eye as the counter traction for creating the incision and uh, staining of the capsule is must so i stain under the air always and keep the dye there for at least 15 to 20 seconds so you get nice adequate staining for better visualization during the procedure also the trypan blue makes the capsule little bit brittle the first nick i am making using a cystitome now here i will get to know how the zonules are so morgagnin cataract we may expect weak zonules here the first nick goes and you can see as expected the milky fluid which is the liquefied cortex is coming out and uh, cataract will change its color now from white to yellowish brown and there is a shrunken nucleus as we expect in this particular case now here always move to capsular axis forceps my choice is micro capsular axis forceps here because with needle you do not get adequate support of the nucleus so always move to a forceps and if you have seen my previous videos on morgagnin cataract the principle of capsular axis here is that you always pull this tear tangentially never pull this capsular axis tear centripetally in case of morgagnin cataract because the capsule is redundant and sometimes you may have zonular weakness if you pull it centrally you tend to damage the zonules so here so far the zonules have given adequate support as you can see a good counter traction during capsular axis the size of capsular axis here is around 4.5 mm but it's adequate because the nucleus is small and now what i am going to do here is uh, to do a horizontal chop so those are the parameters i am going to use the longitudinal linear power and here i want to bury into this nucleus little paracentrally not near the center but near mid periphery so that i can go around the edge of the nucleus and then chop i am using 1.5 mm long patwardhan modified sinski hook you can see the tip of it is blunt so it's not like a ball but it's blunt so i'll not be damaging the posterior capsule when i'm doing the horizontal chops so i use exclusively this horizontal chops for such cases where vertical chops are difficult with horizontal chop as you go around the equator and start crushing this nucleus between the phaco tip and uh, the chopper which is the 1.5 mm sinski hook you can get a complete division of nuclear pieces a bit difficult to do vertical chop in these cases now i move on to the quadrant removal mode where i'm going to use ozil which is torsional phaco and with 70% power i'm using the balance tip of alcon and 450 vacuum i'm using alcon legion machine here which is a gravity based infusion system and gives a very good uh, anti chamber stability with 110 cm of the bottle height it's uh, very essential for doing phaco that you have very stable anti chamber ozil is excellent tool for emulsification produces minimal heat around the incision no chances of wound burn 
and uh, the emulsification produced is fantastic without any chattering of nuclei. So that's the end of the emulsification. The cortex aspiration is there is very little cortex because most of it is uh, already liquefied. Just little bit of tags which are remaining, you can take it out. In case you find weaker zonules, we can implant a CTR prophylactically. Otherwise, uh, in this case, you can see the zonules are quite strong and I can place the aisle in the back. Good center. Rex is there. If at all you feel that CCC is too small here, it was just adequate. If it was smaller than this, I would have enlarged the rexes by taking tangential nick and then enlarging using the forceps. But here it looks quite good. A hydrophobic aisle in the back and that's a case well done. So when you do approach complex case, make it a routine by improving your thought process, going through different difficulties that uh, you might have expected in previous cases with a systematic manner and now every case will be a routine case with reduced chances of complication thank you for watching do subscribe my youtube channel